Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are back at Goodwill and I wasn't sure I was going to film but then I decided to go ahead because there were some goodies to be found. I turned on the camera and as you can see I already had a few items in my cart. So we are already in the metal section. The bag section did not have a lot this evening and we are looking for orange tags because orange tags are 50% off. That snowman was kind of cute, but at $4.99 and it was badly tarnished, I didn't want to hold on to that till Christmas time. And maybe if it was $0.99, cents, I would have picked it up, but not for $4.99. This tray was lovely, but the handle was broken. I am shopping a little quickly this evening, so bear with me. This was a nice lacquer tray. You'll see I kind of went back and forth about it. It was $7.00. I'm thinking it's going to be 19 to 24. It does have some scratching on the back, but I did end up putting it in my cart. You can see I did find some um, brass napkin holders and some brass planters there. Uh, this I was contemplating because it was color of the day, so it would have been 350. It was a bunch of craft wood, like some blue bow ducks, things for people to paint. But in the end, I think I decided it wasn't worth it. I was debating. And I forgot to put my flap up in my cart. I wasn't sure what that was. Maybe it was for an instrument. I always enjoy going through the wood and the brass section. This looks this was a cute little curio cabinet someone had made up, a little shadow box. That looks like it may have needed a clock in the center. Or it was a really big coaster. She was kind of neat, but $6. $1.99 would have been better. 99 cents I would have grabbed her. This was really cool, but it was really beat up and it looked like it was missing pieces. Someone had already painted one of the roosters, it looked like. That was a pretty cool clock. When I turned it over, one of the pieces fell off, so it did have damage. And I'm steering away from clocks because the last two I've picked up didn't end up working. So I think I'm, I'm going to steer away unless it's something really special. That was kind of neat, an Australia souvenir. I did pick up this guy. You'll see it in my haul video. What I didn't realize was it was missing. It was supposed to have a train at the top, another piece that goes around. And we did put batteries in it and it just did not work. The tapping indicates I'm thinking seriously about it. Because it was it was the 100th anniversary edition of Lionel. So there should have been some trains going around on there. And I didn't realize that. Then I saw this resin piece which was really cool but I think it had damage. Yeah, it had a big chunk out of the corner. Otherwise, I might have considered getting it because hot rods are always cool for man caves. I think they also wanted $10 on that. Foot massager. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm really digging tonight, guys. I'm really, I'm trying to hunt for some good stuff. I think that was a silverware holder more than a jewelry box. And this person was kind of close to me in the aisle, so I was trying not to get him in the film too much. So we're just going to continue down and look at the metals, see what goodies we can find. We're always on the hunt for brass. $20 for that cup of um, little goblets. So that was a no-go for this evening. This was $5 for the set of two butterflies. I did pick up, I did pay up a bit for stuff this evening, but I needed inventory. Ideally, I would have preferred $2.99 or $1.99 on those. Here is a brass angel candle snuffer for $4. We do grab that because brass. I was trying to figure out if that went with something. They wanted $6 for it, so I ended up leaving it. <clears throat> and that kind of swirly candle holder was neat too. 
Now this guy I debated on. It is a wine bottle holder. I think it was $9.99 and it was a cowboy so the head sits on top of the wine bottle. And I may put it back here, but I think in the end I did go back for that. And we found this guy. It's a cast metal owl wall hook, $4.99. Again, I had to pay up a little. Ideally, I would have liked that around $1.99, $2.99 back in the day. It's probably only a $15 to $20 piece. Now that piece, that's $6. I actually just picked up one of those. And I got it in a lot and it's international silver plate. And so it was good I didn't pick that one up for six because it was cheaper when I got it in a lot of items. I totally miss those tiles. <coughs> that was a cute tin, but there was really heavy scratching and they wanted $6. If that had been like 99 cents, $1.99, I probably would have grabbed it because it had really great graphics. The fruit is always popular. That, I couldn't tell what was inside of it. It was probably coasters. So I left it. And the other thing about that butter dish, it was taped, so I couldn't tell if the glass insert was still in it. And here is my first bag of beaded and sugar fruit, guys. If I grab it at this point. That was Easter theme, but they wanted $4.99, so I left it. There was good picking this evening, but the shelves were a little bit more bare than I was used to. <clears throat> now we're trying to focus in. I really want this puppy planner, guys, but check out the cost. $13 for the planter and the little puppy that went with it was $7. So for $21, unfortunately, I had to leave it there. And there's the fruit, guys. Do I get the fruit? Come on. $8 for the whole bag and it had sugared and beaded fruit in it. So I was excited to give that a try. I've not found them before. They were in pretty good condition because I know that's important. That was cute. It was a little shelf sitter. $15 on it though. So there's still goodies to be had. You just got to really dig. I wanted this so bad. <laughs> I love collecting the banks to sell, but $7 for Target Bank, I just couldn't do it. And this little guy I've had and sold before, he was $9. I think when I found him, it was for 99 cents. These are some made in China. I think that was $6 for the big one. And that one had a big chip off of its ear. I didn't see that bag of silverware. This was more of a contemporary piece. I just like the color and shape. It was probably a Target or Marshalls. I don't know what I'm looking at now. I'm hunting something. Oh, I think I was trying to figure out what that was. So it was like a homemade gel candle full of leaves. That bowl is pretty down there. But I'm kind of steering away from those because they're really heavy. This was good. This was a set of um, 1997 vintage Winnie the Pooh mugs. I think it was Five dollars for the set, two fifty each. So that's not bad because they're identical. So I will sell those individually. It was just fun to get out and get shopping this evening, see what they had. It is a little overwhelming with all the bags because they bag all of our. Um, that was pretty, but it was really beat up, unfortunately. And there was no price on that one. They were probably taped together and someone pulled the tape off. $5 for one. It might have been for the set, but I wasn't sure. Usually they mark them separate. Huh. 
Holly's come to join us, so you may hear her in the background. So the music was pretty loud to, this evening. Most of the time it's loud in there. So, and I kind of got caught up in shopping. So that's why I'm doing the voiceover with you guys. And this was so funny. I had just been talking to my husband about how I didn't have any globes for my New York collection. And poof, there it is at Goodwill. And that's what I love about my collection is finding stuff in the wild like that, that I don't even know I want. <laughs> <clears throat> And we're searching and we're searching. There's some reproduction mushroom mugs. I kind of steer clear of those because there's so many out there now. <clears throat> the mushroom soup mugs. This was neat looking. Now this is that, um, I want to say Pampered Chef, but I know that's not what it is. Temptations. But I haven't really got into the temptations yet. Only because of storage. I'm trying, unless it's like a really amazing casual piece or something, I'm trying to steer clear as best I can of like the big casual dishes and stuff because I just don't have the room to store it long term. I'm always looking for napkin rings. So I was checking out the craft section. I should have bought this. It was a really cool looking ginger jar. They wanted $5, but I didn't know enough about them. I just really liked the look of it. I should have, I should have, for five dollars I just, oh and then there was a, a crack out of the lid so that's why I left it. This was a vintage balance. That car paper was kind of cute. I was really excited to find this. So this was a finished latch hook thing. And it was very clean, it was very nice, and it was, it had a maker's tag on the back. And so I went to the back room, because there was no price on it, and they priced it for me at $1.99, which was awesome. Now I'm looking in a section I don't always look in, the electronics and sports gear. I'm just seeing if anything jumps out at me. Every now and then I like to peruse through here because you never know what you're going to find. And it gives you guys something different to look at and gives me something different to check out. There's a lot of those bowls for like trying to get the pets to eat slower. I was contemplating these roller skates, but they were $10 and they're roller derby. And I just don't know enough about them to be able to list them, like how to size them. I was trying to see if the inside was pretty clean. They were kind of neat. Then I saw this, but again, it was $7 and it looks like one of those virtual reality uh, eyeglass sets. Again, not my wheelhouse. I wasn't sure if it worked. So we're going to go back to pottery. And this was a pretty piece, but it had a giant chunk out of it. And I'm still debating. <laughs> Lots of sewing machines. Now that does say Mattel on the bottom, so that's probably more made for kids. It's a Viewmaster. And then I looked inside and it looked like it didn't have any of the paperwork to go with it or anything. So I just left it. There's always tripods and things like that at my Goodwill. So if you're looking for tools and stuff and you know what you're doing, you can probably find stuff in there. It's just not an area I branched into yet. I thought this was pretty, but then I realized, you know. This was cool, but the leather was so beat up, guys. I was so bummed. It was a neat little, like, travel jewelry box. The inside was clean, but that leather was really scratched up bad. And I don't know what they had on it. <clears throat> Letting people walk by. Don't mind me. Cart's getting full, guys. That's what we like. We are probably heading down to the mug section. Yep, there we go. I've not been finding a lot of a lot of mugs lately. Usually have a lot of the grandparents, world's greatest parent. I saw this platter and thought it was really pretty, but 
it was heavy and let's see what they had on it they wanted $15 for the platter I think it said Noritake I could be wrong so we had to leave that behind and I really don't have storage for it but I really liked it <laughs> this I wasn't sure about it was a museum mug So we're going to keep heading down into the kitchen aisle and see what other goodies we can spot. <clears throat> that was a pretty teapot. Now this was, the camera's not picking that up too well, but it's actually a really pretty purple. It looks more brown on um, my phone, but I did, even though it's contemporary, I don't see purple a lot, so I did pick that up. And you'll see everything in the haul video. This was a cute little tea set. I was looking it up, but on the bottom it said like decoration only. So I try to steer clear of those because you never know. This section's always pretty packed. These were Avon lighthouses, I think, and they wanted $6 each. I thought they were neat because I had not seen the Avon lighthouse before. So they were probably a cologne or body shower. Seeing what we got in the dish section, what pops out at us. That was neat. $5, so that was a no-go. <clears throat> then I found this. And you know I'm a sucker for ceramics. And I paid $10 for it. I did. It's probably only worth 20 because it's like five pounds to ship, but I could not leave it there to be destroyed. Sometimes you've just got to save the stuff, guys, if you can. So that was $8 for part of that countertop set there. And I'm sorry we're not seeing the top shelf, but my height only actually goes to the shelf below the top shelf. So <laughs> I'm usually on tippy toes trying to look at the top shelves here. So I went back and forth, back and forth, and... It was in good condition. There were some minor chips on the handle and on the tips, which are to be expected. So I rescued the fruit basket. This was neat. This has been floating around there for a while. It's an olive dish, um, $10. I don't know. I couldn't tell who made it. Stafford. So it's probably like a snack thing, but that was not one I needed to save. This was very cool, but it had a giant repair chunk in the front, and they wanted $10 for it. It was a giant cabbage pitcher with a carrot handle. So, with the, with the damage and everything, I just couldn't, couldn't grab it, unfortunately. Now we are in the plastics. We are in the, um, like, thermos section. I usually find my like uh, Aladdin thermoses and stuff here. This I was thinking about because it looked like G.I. Joe or something. But I'm kind of out of the kids' toys for a little bit because the ones I have haven't sold yet. So, you know, like when certain things get low and I know I've sold, then I'll pick up more items. There's a Lego kit. And actually, they've incorporated quite a bit of kids' toys into this plastic section. That's great if you have someone who's a first-time painter, but $3.99, those were probably $0.99 cents, $1.99 at Michael's. I did pick this up, Vintage Thermos Soup Stacking Cups, storage containers. So that's $2.50, $2 each for those. And I'm looking for thermoses. I'm really hunting. I also find some vintage Tupperware here sometimes. Then I found this, which was a vinyl made to look like wood. And I did look it up and it is vintage. It's a vintage ice bucket. Now I did pay up for this, $7.99. Turns out it was a risk and they only go for about 19 to 21. So I'll make a little bit there and my money back, but at least it was a learning experience. Then they had one of these, it was $3. That's, I think, the left-in bushel or fruit basket shaker. And guys, we have about two minutes left, so I just wanna say thank you so much for coming along and shopping with me. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, 
and hit that subscribe button and I'll have more coming with you soon. I totally missed that olive that olive baking pan. I think I've missed it twice now in videos. This I was dying guys. I love this California set but they wanted five dollars for the centerpiece and then I think it was six dollars per tray. So it would have cost me $17 for the whole Lazy Susan. Now, if I was keeping that for me, but I don't host very often, I would have picked it up. But that was beautiful condition. Oh, I hated to leave that behind. That really hurt. Because <laughs> I'm a sucker for that pottery. Then there was this milk glass piece. Now, this was 50% off, so I decided to risk it. Um, it was only $4.50. So we grabbed that. It's a lid for like... Um, forget like one of those oil lamps this was five dollars and it doesn't have its cork but I thought it'd still be a really great decorative speckled pottery canister for someone's kitchen so we put that in the cart and then I spotted the colorful things which I think turned out to be tourist pieces yeah Miami Florida tourist mugs that was a nice little seashell bowl but there was a giant chip in it <clears throat> There were a few mugs. But I think, so they were Japan. They were watercolor. And normally I pay about $2.99 for a bag and they wanted nine. So I left that behind this time. I debated on that sleep mask. This was cool, but again, $7 for the trivet. I just couldn't do it. There was cool stuff. I had to leave it behind because there just wasn't enough room. And I like these, but they were the saucers for teacups. I don't mind the small dishes. It's just the bigger ones take up a lot of space. And that's it, guys. Thanks for shopping with me. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll be back with you soon.